was a nice push. Well, you know, I've been bringing some charters back here, uh, back here in this old glory hole that used to run back in the day. And uh, if you notice that there's nice potholes back here that these trout and redfish have been sitting in, and they're just waiting to ambush their prey as they're coming up over top of these little holes. Okay, well, you know, Tyler, as long as they'll hit this top dog as it comes across their head, I ain't worried about it too much. Have you tried the, uh, the neutral cars yet on these? Absolutely, man, I love them. Well, if, if you, uh, you don't have to change the hooks out on them anymore. If, if you see the package that says Mogan Series on top of it, they got these trocar hooks on them. Be very careful with the hooks, because I think if, uh, well, it only takes about once or twice to get your finger caught up in those things and you'll realize how sharp they are. But usually a fish just has to look at the hook and they're hooked up. So they call this one the glory hole, huh? Yeah, you know, it's not like the one at the gas station down the road. <laughs> <laughs> Some big ass mullet in there. There's a trout. There we go, come on. Come on, little redfish. There he is, there he baby. Is. Nice fish. That's, that sounded like a trout. Yeah. <laughs> kind of looks like a trout. Might be that targeted trout we've been trying for, Tyler. That was a big smack. Blake. That was a huge oh. smack. That's weird when you can't tell if it's a redfish or a trout. <laughs> <laughs> Starting to see a little color on it, too. Color looking yeah, nice awesome. trout, nice, too. Nice, beautiful trout. <laughs> well, welcome to this episode of Addictive Fishing. We are fishing once again in my backyard here on the Space Coast. We got Captain Tyler Vollmer with us. And this place is known for what we got on the end of the line right here. Absolutely monster gator trout. There you go. Look at that fish. That right there is today's targeted species on addictive fishing with Captain Tyler Vollmer. <laughs> nice that fish, boy. Nice. Unbelievable, man. Beautiful fish. Can you pop that trocar out of there? Yeah. How deep you got him? He's right in the corner. That was a smack, wasn't it? That was a hell of a smack, man. I've never, you know, like you said, whenever that, you don't know the difference between a redfish and a trout. <laughs> That's gotta, when you know you got big trout yeah. up here. There All they go. gotta do is absolutely just look at that hook and they get hooked. Is that a beautiful trout, folks, or what? What size do you think he goes, Blair? About 28? Mm, no, he ain't that big. 27, 28? Not bad, man. Not bad. He's a good one. <laughs> I'll take him all He's day long. One. I'll take him bigger than that, too. <laughs> Ooh. Off he goes. Nice trout, brother. Hey, right here in Mesquite Lagoon, Captain Tyler Vollmer, my backyard. We'll be right back with some more big trout and a lot of these bugs. Stay tuned. <laughs> Let's go, then. There you go, there right over that pothole. There he is, brother. That's a good That's fish. A really good fish. Another good hole right there, Tyler. Well, welcome back, folks. It looks like we got a little bit of cloud cover moving in on us, but I tell you what, for big trout, absolutely love a little bit of overcast because it'll it'll make them hit a little bit longer. And I was telling Tyler earlier today that when I was targeting big trout way back in the day, I would be done by about 7:30, 8 o'clock in the morning. But this cloud cover is going to do us good, I think. So we're just gonna keep hitting these potholes and try to pull a big trout out. You know, Blair, I, uh, a lot of people don't really like it when it's cloudy out here, but uh, I know when I wake up in the morning, I see a good overcast. I know it's gonna be a hell of a trout bite. And uh, you know, a lot of times when, when it's real cloudy out here, it kind of helps camouflage that bait when it's coming over top, you know, where, versus yeah. when it's real sunny, those trout can actually see it coming over top like that. Oh, 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 come on, baby, come on. Bottle. There he is, brother. That's a good fish really there. Good fish. Oh, Stankus? Yeah. I think it's a redfish instead of a trout, though. <laughs> oh, damn. 
Nope, that's a trout, brother. Big trout. That would be the targeted species Look again. Look at the shoulders on him. He's putting oh, on that yeah. big weight. My favorite fish to catch. Everybody always wants to know what it is. This is it right here. Big, big sea trout. Yes, sir, that's a good one, Tyler. <laughs> Hopefully not the biggest one of the day. Because we're going to show you some big mosquito lagoon trout. Love that top water, bro. Can we come down and get it for you, Blake? Yeah, All grab right. me if you would. Awesome. Awesome trout right there. Woo! It's one of those things uh, Mosquito right. Lagoon is world famous for. Big trout like that. Good old yellow mouth. Cool beans. Look at that mouth. Let me see if I can get this hook out real yep. easy. I'm going to let him go. Got him? Yep, yeah, got him. Good deal. After I show you that beautiful Mosquito Lagoon trout. Look at the belly on. I think he's Woo. been eating all night. <laughs> he's been eating all night and absolutely love that top dog. Beautiful fish. Way to go, Tyler. Yeah, man. Oh, that's a nice trout there, bro. Ooh, yeah, there's <laughs> bottom there, trout. <laughs> See, he went doink. <laughs> Big old cool. hit, but... Good job. Mosquito Lagoon, big trout. You ever want to come do this, make sure you book Tyler Vollmer. He will put you on them. Let's get another one out. All right. So one thing I like to fish around is black mullet, especially when I'm fishing topwater plugs, little little tiny baits like this, because what a trout does is hang around those big schools of black mullet, and whatever spooks out of the grass, whether it be an injured minnow, a shrimp, or a crab, whatever those fish that we like to catch so much eat, they don't know a mullet's not gonna eat them. That's why the predator fish hang around those big schools of black mullet. Tyler, you know how I like to work these baits is I like to kind of try to like to imitate a, uh, a trout feeding, make that slurping sound with it. Almost makes like a, a like a dinner time or a breakfast time bell. Yep, pretty much. Keeps ringing that bell, you know. Oh, there you oh. go. Yes, we're coming up on it too. And a lot of times, you know, that, that little beat that it keeps making, that beep, 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 beep. You know, a lot of times that'll, that'll drive them up out of that pothole that they're sitting in too, and that'll come and uh, get that good strike. There he is. There you go. That's a good one. <sighs> nice fish. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> He's going nuts out there. <sighs> Bunch of steak is there. Yeah. <sighs> cool beanos. You know, when you're big trout fishing, you might not get a whole lot of bites, but the bites you do get are absolutely incredible, like with a top water plug like this. Oh yeah, baby. That was not a happy camper fish there. <laughs> but look at the size of that sea trout, bro. God, that's nice. Oh man. That is a nice fish. Oh, might be able to grab him. <laughs> Big old yellow mouth on him. He, he still ain't giving up, is he? <laughs> the moment he hit that thing. Says, I don't like them Morgan Sherry's hooks, boy. <laughs> There we go. Another nice fish, huh? Beauty. You see why they're called yellow mouths, folks? When they get up to this size here, that mouth just turns yellow. And the fangs on those guys, they usually have two fangs, but he has lost his. He's actually got three coming out, but uh, absolute beautiful fish right there. Love the purple in them. That's my favorite fish right there. <laughs> my favorite fish. Glad you could be pulling me this morning, Tyler. Not a problem at all, man. He was hooked good. Yeah, he was. I might need a pair of pliers on him. Let's see if you can grab that one pliers there, sir. Get this guy back in the water. Awesome, awesome fish. Most beautiful fish that swims in the Indian River right there, I think. <laughs> they are gorgeous, aren't they? Mesquite Lagoon, Banana River. This, this whole Space Coast area holds these big trout like this. Let's get him on this side right here. Send him off into this pothole. I'll check that out. He blends right in with that green grass, that green back. Mm -hmm. That's awesome. Absolutely awesome. Love it, man. Love it. Like I said, you might not get a whole bunch of hits when you're big trout fishing, 
But if you get two or three like that in a day. Makes a day, don't it? Definitely makes, makes a day. Makes a day. <laughs> we grow the biggest sea trout right here on the Space Coast. So it makes it uh, world famous, man. I tell my clients that all the time. It never gets old. Well, I tell you, y'all stay tuned. We're going to be right back. We're going to get re-rigged. Hopefully show you a real giant. But if we don't, <laughs> that's already made my day with those three. <laughs> exactly. Let's go then. There he is. <laughs> that's a good one there, brother. That's a real good fish. Up in there. Man, these clouds, it's, it's tough to see them. What's happening, these clouds are coming in and out, in and out, and they'll stick their tails up, and then the sun will hit them, and they'll go back down. You gotta sit there and wait for them. Come on, there's a tail right here, right yeah, here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm going to be behind you on that one. Oh, we ate it. <laughs> oh, that's a, such a pretty sight. I used to come out here when I was guiding full time and just sit and watch them. Not even cast on them, just watch them and watch them. You learn so much. That's where we need that sound, so that way we can spot them from that distance away, instead of just relying on their tails popping up every time. There he is again, there he is. Oh, happy fish. And he's standing on his head, he's in two foot of water. There he is. Go. <laughs> oh, yeah, nice fish. That's a good one there, brother. That's a real good fish. You want to stake us? Yep. Oh, I just hope you don't mess up all those other fish on the flat. <laughs> I was doing a tournament one time. We were in Port Charlotte. We had this spot figured out just like this. And my partner, Travis, he hooked a red fish. It was about 35 inches. <laughs> And it went wah, 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 and just like this one's doing. The flat. <laughs> just messed up the whole flat. <laughs> That's a good one there, brother. Absolutely. That one is the man. Look at that. It's beautiful lit up. Good tussle on this 6.9. <laughs> I know it's got some bend to it, man. <laughs> <laughs> this is the light, lightest rod in the lineup right here. That's the way I like it. And this is the Gen 2 rod. A little more PTO fibers in it, makes it a little bit stronger. You can tell the new Gen 2 is because of the white right here. There he is. Make sure you got this one hooked right there. Yeah, you he's go. hooked in the mouth. There you go. I think. Nice. No, he fell hooked him there. <laughs> I'll take him any way I can get him. I know he, he jumped on it. Yep, there's a reason he's coming in upside down. Who, who said take a picture of him upside down? Dusty? <laughs> Dusty Bottoms. Dusty Bottoms here yesterday. This one's for you, Dusty. <laughs> Go ahead and land him upside down. Yeah. Well, I'll catch him coming, going, or any way I can today. <laughs> I know he, he definitely went after it. Oh man, he was so good. Yeah, right there in that muscle. Woo. There you go. Another beautiful redfish from Mosquito Lagoon. That tail is all lit up pretty. Hell yeah. Color your shirt. <laughs> wow. I'll tell you what, we're gonna regroup. Y'all stay tuned. We're gonna release this dude. Get on out of here. Y'all stay tuned. We're gonna be right back with some more redfish right here from, I'll say it, Tiger Shoals, Mosquito Lagoon, redfish capital of the world. <laughs> <laughs> There he is, brother. <laughs> Go ahead, stick, stick. Yeah, yeah. <sighs> on today's Rig It Right, I'm gonna show you what Captain Tyler had me out there throwing on this episode. It's the new Mogan Series Mirror Lure with the Trocar hooks on it. In the morning, I was throwing the green back with the orange belly, and when it got cloudy, I moved up to the green back with the white belly just to give it a little bit different contrast there in the water for these fish. 
I was using 20 pound test cigar fluorocarbon and I was throwing Finn's wind tamer 15 pound test just because it kind of got a little bit windy out there on the Space Coast. And then later in the day, we switched to the quarter ounce gold, gold glitter shrimp, which happens to be one of my favorite colors just because it looks so natural in the water. And uh, we were chasing those tail and redfish all day long and finally got them to start eating this. And the rod I was using happens to be the new Wright McGill Gen 2 Flats Blue. And early in the morning with this 7.6, I was using this and just tossing it out as far as I can, working as much water as I can with that top dog. Later in the day, we moved down to the 6.9, and one thing you're gonna notice with the new Gen 2 rods is that it has a white handle instead of a black handle. We put a little bit more PTO fibers in there to give them just a little bit more strength. And we also changed the hook keeper up on it, which I know you guys are gonna like out there because your line's not gonna get tangled up on it anymore. If you ever fish Mosquito Lagoon, a lot of smaller redfish in there. So we are just having a lot of fun with that 6.9. Had the 7.6 rigged with the 3,500 size Sabalos reel and uh, just having a lot of fun out there today with Tyler. If you ever get a chance to fish with him, I highly suggest it. But remember one thing, every season starts right here at Dick's. Rig It Right by Wright and Miguel. Scared bait jumping out there. A lot of nervous water right up here, you see it? Mm -hmm. Yep. You know, one thing Tyler, I found with this flat out here, after you, in the middle of the day like this and everybody's already pounded it. It'll tail like that, just like they're doing with us now and not eating. You gotta slow it way down. And Absolutely. Just crawl that, just make that shrimp crawl through the grass and hopefully they pounce on it. You probably even pop that fish from there too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a good fish there. Two good fish. I'm gonna have to cast it at 11 to get it to go to yep. one. <laughs> There's a few fish in there, isn't there? <laughs> Go ahead and stake it, stake it. Yeah, yeah. I guess you put a little bit of stink on there and that's all they need, huh? <laughs> oh. How's that feel? That feels good. <laughs> that feels good. Especially after all the denials. Jeez, it whiz. <laughs> denial after denial and I ain't talking about that river. That was a long time coming there, brother. <laughs> Get him. <laughs> that was like, we have been throwing at fish after fish after fish. They're tailing great. They're just, they're not wanting to eat. I finally found some old stink stuff I had in here and put it on there. And as soon as he sniffed it, it was all over. And that's a fat daddy redfish there, there. So you think you wish you would have had one in a tournament like this on <laughs> Saturday? Let's not bring that one up. <laughs> <laughs> you want to grab him? Yeah, absolutely. That is a fat one there. Yeah, hey, he's got some belly on him. Yes, he do. That is a nice Mosquito Lagoon redfish. God, it's chunky. Yeah, I think, <laughs> I think that weight. one would have got you big fish on Saturday. <laughs> he got Ty some weight. Tyler was doing a tournament this past Saturday called the Boss Man Tournament. And he, of course he had them all hemmed up, but they just didn't show up during tournament day. That's how it happens, huh? That's how it happens. Look at that beautiful redfish. Tail all nice and lit up. That's a keeper. <laughs> That would be a keeper. Ah, uh, man. Just as we catch a beautiful redfish, the sun goes away. And I don't want to keep him out because that's a, that's a big cloud right there. Let's let him go on this side here. Let's see if you can see him swim away. People say, I don't release enough fish. But we'll go ahead and, him, he goes right under the ranger. He didn't want to be on camera no more. <laughs> <laughs> well, Tyler, I'll tell you what. This cloud and these wind, I don't know what we're gonna be able to do, but I tell you what, I had a great day today. If y'all ever get the chance to come fish with Tyler, make sure you look him up. What's your website? Hook'em-flatsfishing.com. Hook'em-flatsfishing.com, and you can come here to the Mosquito Lagoon. Hopefully get you some of them big trout, and the redfish are everywhere here. It's one of the best places in the world. Titusville's known as the redfish capital of the world. If you hadn't been to Louisiana, I guess. But <laughs> <laughs> it's a great place to come catch redfish. Tyler, Absolutely. appreciate it. Hey, brother. Don't forget about the website, addictivefishing.com, and we'll see you next week. Check out more footage from this show by logging on to addictivefishing.com for outtakes and bloopers. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. <laughs>
That's about the perfect piece of size, that piece. <laughs> Oh, oh, baby, he did, he did, he did. oh, we made it. <laughs>